Oh boy, I got some juicy news for you guys today. So it has finally happened. The devs have finally cracked down on corrosive after nine years of corrosive armor pretty much remaining the same. Now, I've said weeks ago, I've said in countless live streams, and if you're not following me on Twitch and on, you know, also YouTube, and there's a like and sub button down there. Occasionally, I do put out some pretty good content. I do stream pretty often on both YouTube and Twitch. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, you know, get on it, doggone it, so they say. So yeah, they have made the needed change to corrosive armor. So everyone was worried about the basalt class set from the endless archive, which is going to give the Dragonite access to major and minor heroism at the same time, as well as 16% increased healing, which is pretty broken. That's only one of the sets. Okay. The Dragonite along with the other classes are getting two additional class sets, which are going to be pretty broken, which will spice up the PVP meta. I actually can't wait to run them and see what, uh, what, what, what lies ahead, but yes, let's go over the changes to corrosive this is the most kudos to Zoss. they they listen they they actually listen i don't know if they watch my videos i swear to god i just talked about this three days ago on the dragonite live stream how you need to balance corrosive when this set goes live i went through my live stream and tried to find the clip of me saying that and i was going to do like a nice little fade away like a gray fade away you know uh post war crux but uh um yeah i i i get tired of looking for it so here we go so here is the a uh, PTS patch notes 9.2.1. Uh, so it's not a big update, but this will go into the balancing on the Dragonite, which is much needed, mind you. Now, there, there has been some absolute degenerates running around with uh, Dragonite with the crit dk build that you know we're, we're pretty famous for here on the channel and they also have a pocket healer run and whatever vice cannon whatever the mythic it is when you use your ultimate it actually transfers it to your buddy so what dragonites have been doing with the crit build is popping corrosive allowing the healer right the healer pops their ultimate it gives the dragonite their full ultimate back so during their corrosive they are using take flights and hitting people for like 30k i can't tell you how many people have been chasing me down with the build you know who you are <coughs> ulti dumper um so uh that comes to an end when the pts comes so uh while that set will be good all right while you will let's go and go over it. we'll hear it from the uh, the horse's mouth all right so i'm not gonna go over the the rest of this bs okay um esoteric actually i actually might read this i haven't read through this at all so we, we may backtrack a little bit here you know in post-production horror crux so let, 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 let's jump into the goodies dragonite earth and the heart magma arm corrosive arm this morph now disables ultimate generation while the ability is active Good job. Um, actually, a very good job. So let's see the, the let's see the comments. Corrosive has long been a potent ultimate for Dragonite uh, at turning the tides in the battle by offering both immense defensive and offensive capabilities, but has slowly been power crept as more sources of ultimate generation have entered the game over time. To, qu to quell this, we are moving forward with an adjustment that will ensure the morph retains its stark power spike, but removing the ability to keep up the effect on prolonged periods of time. Um, actually, great change. Uh, this is, I, I'm a Dragonite main, you know, I, like half of us here on the channel where we, we, we love the Dragonite. But let's be real, guys. Uh, Corrosive is just a huge crutch. I mean, it is going to suck for, you know, solo 1VX content. No one's really doing that anymore besides me and a few hand other people in the, uh, the community. This is going to suck for us, but, uh, you know, th this gives me a more of a reason to, to, to get away from the place silent and try something new, um, which is uh, which is pretty good. So I'm actually going to back up here and go through some of the other updates which i haven't really read I, I i i just saw this and i jumped right to it i just want to make the video get this out there so you guys know i'll see if there's anything uh, that is important i think there is so let's take a look amala the storms currently cannot critically strike yo we we made a post about this and in, in the uh, the community forums this is awesome so maybe they uh, bro okay this is a rare w for zaz okay they're actually listening to feedback in the forums like this is awesome they're, they're actually yeah we, we we literally just made a forum post about this so whether they listen to us or whoever, it doesn't matter. As long as they're listening, cannot critically strike. Despite scaling off your offensive stats and not having an ingrained bonus modifier, there are ongoing discussions on which route the set will go, either enabling critical strike damage or adding self uh, bonus modifiers to the set. Uh, this is awesome. So I'm glad they're listening to uh, um, community feedback. Now, I haven't read this. Esotech Environment Grease currently does not properly mitigate damage from some attacks in Endless Archive. Okay, we, okay, we, we, we don't care about that. Endless Archive? is in a scary territory right now. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail on why this mythic item is completely OP and broken. There is a bug with it currently that I'm not going to show anyone or talk about in the forums at all, because as soon as I do, 
people are going to start abusing it and it's going to get fixed. So I'm going to wait until the PTS goes live before I say jack shit about this bug. <laughs> ah, keeping that little tidbit to myself, boys. Sorry. All right. So Arcanist, uh, Gibbering Shield. I really don't care about the Gibbering Shield. Uh, far more defensive powers, allies. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, you know whatever. Uh, we, we, we don't care about that. So Basalt of Blood Warrior. This is the Dragonite uh, set from Endless Archive. This set now grants rock stance for 10 seconds after activating Earthen Heart ability down from 20 seconds. But this effect no longer has a cooldown. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, um, essentially no change. You're gonna be activating earlier on hard abilities that uh, pretty much are cooled down anyway, so that's fine. Remove the minor heroism from the molten stands. Uh, this is fine because we have access to minor heroism potions. Uh, that that's that that's perfectly valid. That's perfectly fine. It does suck. You do have to run the expensive potions, which is dragon's blood, dragon drum, and columbine. Please be stocking up on the dragon drum. Be hunting those dragons because when all of these sets come to the endless archive and the, 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 everything drops, you want access to minor heroism. You're already gonna get, you're already going into get access to major heroism with this set and also the 16 percent increase healing this is still going to be the meta set for the dragonite whether or not you run corrosive or liberal you're your ultimate choice Dawnbreaker, or whatever onslaught i don't know you free edge lords out there this is still going to be a meta set i'm on a rock on pretty much every dragonite build i have uh, i really hope this replaces the the master dual build of uh, hran build i'm up to tooltip wording to move more consistent languages across the idea no one cares about that month has storms fixing issue nobility and decay you may now tether to yourself with beautiful corpses. Yo, we, we made a we made a post about this as well. That's awesome, causing you to deal with the effects of the tether ability and small radius around your character, similar to where you know, small radius where the corpse is tethered normally. You've been avenged. So it, it moves with you. Yeah, this this was a bug. I don't know if it's an Nintendo bug or whatever, but yeah. So now you are a beautiful corpse, and when you tether to a corpse, you're tethering to yourself. Now this actually works. This does bring some viability to the set. This is awesome. This is awesome. Um, there are there's some some downtime on beautiful corpse i hope they also um view our, our posts uh please go on the forums and go to the pts we actually have a community post about this they upload it comment on whatever and bring it to the devs attention um i'm i'm stating in the community post that we should lower the cooldown this to where you can apply beautiful corpse to yourself more often so um anyway i reworked uh, hero font um i actually do not know what this is i fixed an issue so i'll probably reconstruct the domain remake cascade so this is uh from the arcus right fix an issue or apply but diva trade now sets offers uh seven three magic with two three four pieces oh okay is this a set i actually don't know what this is don't care the tools it's not probably mentioned that i have a room for me okay okay whatever no one cares soul cleaver this is the night blade set update this says tooltip dimension the siphoning ultimate does not gain the damage or healing increase since you spend ultimate upon activation putting uh you under its requirements when you ultimate gain the effects oh that's awesome so this is actually not a big buff to the night blade as i previously thought i thought this was going to be super op but apparently it's not because when you activate you actually blow the ultimate cap you don't have the 20 ultimate so you technically don't get the benefits from it so uh that's uh that, that's an awesome clarification there tooltip was a little a little spooky on that one and uh, the rest of this is just furniture stuff uh bugs necronom sets and blah, blah 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 whatever but listen guys listen listen all right Get full screen here. So, listen, I should have a button for this. Um, huge changes um, to the corrosive. Um, that's uh, that's awesome uh, for me because, quite frankly, I, I just hate buying corrosive BKs. I myself do crutch on that ability quite often because I am a 1VXer, right? But uh, I think ultimately these are some really, really good changes. I actually look forward to what the devs come on next. This is uh, you know, th this is a rare W for Zoss. Um, I think that there is more that needs to be done that should be done and we should voice our opinions now more than ever because they're actually listening to our feedback in the forum. So please hop on the forums, have constructive feedback. Don't just get on there and be, be, be all negative Nancy, okay? Be constructive, be an adult, which I know you are. I know we're, we're, we're all man children at heart, but please be an adult on the forum so they'll actually listen to community feedback, okay? That they're listening, you know, whether it be YouTube videos, content creators, forum posts, doesn't matter, just be constructive and uh yeah um, that's really all i had to say in this video guys let me know what you think down in the comments what other changes that we could potentially make a community post about maybe the devs will take it and listen and make some of the changes based on our feedback and if we get enough upvotes or you know, however the formers however they they pick and choose how they focus on uh, your what suggestions you know uh, who knows uh, maybe we can actually make something happen guys so uh they are actually listening a huge w for zoss um because spade to spade they they uh they, they did good on this one that's a rare rare w i know i said that five times but 
Uh, I'm in absolute disbelief. Uh, this never happens. But yeah, that's really odd to say, guys. I look forward to the streaming for you all. Do not forget to follow me on Twitch. Okay, I'm trying to get a thousand followers so I can even apply to be on the ESO stream team. It's very unlikely that they will accept our application, but I think it will be a fun piece of content nonetheless. All right, I'm rambling. You guys have a great night. Peace.